you know, what about being in your head and trying, you know, like you've got an interview or you've got a situation coming up and trying to sort of be in your head before the event so as to like, you know, plan it and hope it'll go well and everything. Um, well, generally speaking, um, if I'm in my head about a situation in the future and I'm thinking about how it's going to go, um, that would be for me the data I need to clear. Um, the problem being, if I hold on to that data, onto those thoughts and those beliefs as if they're real, and as if, I, as if the ego has the power to control the future if it thinks about it, it's just a lower level of consciousness and it's blocking off the miraculous. So let's say I have an interview, for example, hypothetically, there was an interview and there was a lot of fear, maybe they'll judge me, maybe I won't say the right thing, maybe I'll get humiliated, whatever it is. So I just say that I don't want to sort of, I don't want to be in my head thinking about it, trying to be clever and orchestrate it so that, uh, you know, what tactics can I use from the ego? Because for me, that's quite a low level of consciousness. I would actually try and um, clear it, clear whatever I'm holding in mind so that it's deleted. So all my fears are deleted so I can't think about them so that I even forget about the interview because it's so unimportant and meaningless and the people there are meaningless and the salary is meaningless and um, and it's more like it ha it's not magical in any way or meaningful. And then uh, that's what I would try to do to clear the event and then just show up because then uh, I'll, I'll be in the event from the from the level of the infinite or the observer. And I just trust that level of power, uh, whatever is aligned with that, uh, if it's uh, in alignment with that, that will come to pass. And if it's in alignment with something, if it's not in alignment with that, uh, to let it go. But um, to trust that a higher level of consciousness ultimately will bring greater peace and greater alignment with a higher purpose than trying to be in the ego from fear and orchestration. And the ego's fear and orchestration and trying to control things and hold things in the head, for me, just tends to bring more fear, resonance of fear and control. And so situations tend to go worse. Whereas when there's when there's when when I have a situation that I'm fearful of in the future, what I the work that I have to do is to 100% let go of it until I can't think about it, until it's transcended, until it's blank, and then usually what happens is it goes really well because there's no fear, there's no resentment, and I'm allowing the high level of consciousness, the miraculous, to handle it, where there's greater love, greater intuition. Uh, greater omniscience and things handling the situation not from the level of the separated ego mind which is very limited in his capacity to handle uh, situations so that that i got from hawkins you know the more i allow a higher level of consciousness to handle things the better things go because that's the field of the miraculous the ego is coming from force like how can i think about it control it and and be clever about it and worry about it and one of the ego's um, false beliefs is the more I'm in fear and the more I control things, the safer I am. Actually, that actually leads to, in the, that's an illusion. The more you think about things, the more you're in fear, the worse things get. <laughs> You'll find that out. And I think that's just general spiritual experience. Okay, I'll stop there.